Oh, man. Oh, man. What's the business? Y'all already know what time it is. It's your folk, Marquise. And welcome to the very first world premiere of the Plan Maturity Show. I'm so excited, man. So, I hope y'all have been enjoying some of this weather in some of these places that we are in. I know the weather been crazy in some of the others. As y'all may know, for anybody that's been following me in the amount of time, I am in Richmond, Virginia. What's up, 804? Stand up. We going all the way in. So, in today's show, if you've never seen me before, I am Marquise Trent, born and raised in Richmond, Virginia. I'm a husband, a father, I'm a veteran, I'm an author, and an entrepreneur, business owner, empowerment speaker. I'm just an agent of change. I'm an agent of change, and Plan Maturity was placed in my heart to bring a message of maturity to millennials and their minors in the effort to create the perfect citizen. So today's episode, I'll be sharing with you more about what Plan Maturity is, who we are, what our goals are, what this platform is, and how we're going about creating the perfect citizen. So if you're watching live, I want you to go ahead and put the number one down there in the chat. We are on Facebook. We will be on other platforms as we grow, like YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram, things of that nature. But today you're probably seeing this on Facebook. But also, this is doubling as a podcast. I'm very excited. So if you are listening on Apple, iTunes, Stitcher, Podbean, whatever platform, I appreciate y'all also go ahead and comment and share and things of that nature. And if you're listening to the recorded episode, of course, you can go ahead and put that two down there or watching the two. If you're watching, you can put the two down there on Facebook. So first, what I want to start doing is I was just meditating on the, the, the order of the show. I would like to do something called Moments in Black Excellence. But before I get to that again, Plan Maturity, we are a community and personal development firm. So we're a community and personal development firm or personal and community development because a community is made up of many persons or people. And again, we're here to create the perfect citizens by bringing a message of maturity to millennials and their minors. As I have said, if you did miss the trailer that I put out, plan maturity is for anybody. The message is for the millennials and their minors, which I'll start getting into. But anybody that finds value in this brand, anybody that finds value in the messages or anybody that finds value in the guests that are to come, by all means, please come and consume, use the information to the betterment of your life. However, we do have a focus on people of color, people that look like me, uh, African-Americans, blacks, or what have you. I do believe that I was called to serve the African-Americans I am African-American or black or whichever language that you would like to use. So I make no qualms or no, no, you know, I'm not reluctant in saying that. I had to grow into that mindset due to some of the things that I learned. But uh, that's what I'm here to do. So let's get it in. Our first moments in black excellence. I'll be moments in black excellence. What I'll be doing is highlighting black achievements that are taking place that you probably ain't going to hear on the news. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's a part of the issue in general. So the things that I'll be sharing, excuse me, it is out there, but you're probably not going to see it on CNN or MSNBC or, or the news that you watch it. So I want to highlight those things because you become what you think about as a man or woman think of in their heart. So are they. So and you become what you see also your environment and things of that nature. So it's hard to become, shout out the t-shirt, they are available. It's hard to become something that you haven't seen. And it's hard to see yourself, in most cases, as something that you never seen. And we'll talk about that today also. So I want to shout out to Jayana. Uh, Jayana, I'm not totally sure how to say her name, sorry, sweetheart. So I guess that's why they call her JJ. I want to say shout out to JJ Patton. She's a 12-year-old teen from New York. This is so dope. Uh, she developed the photo patch app. She developed the photo patch, P-A-T-C-H, the photo patch app that helps. Check this out. This is blessed. It helps connect children with their imprisoned parents for free. Check that out. She developed an app, the photo patch app. 
that helps children connect with their incarcerated parents for free. Man, that thing right there preach by itself. One thing that I know, because I got folks that's locked down, real talk, as they say, out of sight, out of mind. It's a reality. So when when the people that you love or people that you you know or whoever, the more they are out of sight, the less they are in your mind. And that's just a that's just a a, a reality. Uh, so she developed this app. Check this out. This is this is what this show is about. Check this out. Her father, Antoine, who had did time in prison, he taught himself how to code. Yes, Antoine taught himself how to code by using a computer science manual while he was in the pen, man. So Antoine sitting in the pen, you know, he's doing his push ups and sit ups and dips and burpees and all that, getting right, staying right, keeping himself right. But he had a vision, he had drive. OK, so he taught himself how to code. Check this out. Look at how hungry this young girl was. It only took her three months to produce the app. And that's why I want to highlight what it is that we're here to talk about. The millennials and their minors. She is one of the minors of a millennial from from what I'm saying. The young brother looked very young. And she was uh, she developed this app recently. But I know they started on it. No, he got released in 2014. So that was seven years ago. And at this time, she is 12 at this moment. So black accomplishment. Secondly, uh, there was a black entrepreneur, a woman. You know, I, I got love for her. You know, she, she in the authorship elite, the authorship elite. I am a published author. I'm going to be talking about that. Uh, Kishana Hayward. She's the author of Credit is King and Credit is Queen. She wrote books to teach youth, black youth, about credit. Check that out. I love my people, but I ain't learned about no credit. <laughs> you know, I came up knowing, you know, credit scores and all that. I wish I would have had that knowledge earlier. I love my folks, but that's what this is about, bringing a message of maturity to millennials and their minors. So shout out to Keyshawna. She authored a coloring book. She created coloring books to teach children about credit. Why? Because the earlier you learn something, the more it is a part of you and the more you can utilize it, the earlier you can utilize it, the better you'll become. Man, if I can go back, I'm 36 right now. Bless God for that. If I can go back 18 years ago and uh, when I joined the military and, and had my head on, oh, man, I would have made so many, so many better decisions. I was a knucklehead in the Army, Lord knows. <laughs> And uh, I could have gotten higher in in my uh, in my time in the military, but I was a knucklehead, man. I was rebellious. I did what I wanted to do. I gained some level of discipline, but I was still such a knucklehead. So that's what this show is about: bringing messages of maturity, growing up early to make better decisions, so you don't have to suffer all the consequences of your negative choices. Let's get it. So again, I'm Marquise. A little bit about myself: I like to say I was raised good, but the streets bad. I'm from the South, Richmond, Virginia. Yes, Virginia is the South. I did come up with a, a traditional Christian background, but I did come up in dysfunction as well. I love my mama, love my daddy, you know, but they were separated, and I was between two households in my earlier years. I became an addiction and abuse recovery coach in the last year and a half, and for some reason, I guess I never thought about it, but I didn't really know that uh, poverty was tr was considered trauma or uh Divorce. I don't know why I never thought that divorce wasn't was wasn't considered trauma. Um, we had food on the table and, you know, things were were OK. Uh, but I know what the struggle feels like. I know what the struggle looks like. Absolutely. So I appreciate what my parents did for me and I want to do better for my children and for other people's children. You know what I'm saying? I was blessed, jumped off the porch, started ripping, running the streets at a young age, getting drunk, getting high. Uh, you know, got into the, the, the dreaded Virginia judicial system um, late in my teens, my first charge and things of that nature. Unfortunately, I did end up catching a felony uh, many, many years ago. And I got that, that label, you know what I'm saying? I got that label and I know what it felt like to be disenfranchised, to, to always have this thing in the back of your mind that you're walking around with this fear 
and that you are now limited. But uh, bless you, I got all my rights restored, all of them. Uh, so, you know, that's what this that's what this this platform is about, bringing hope, bringing messages of maturity. I've spoken to thousands of people as an empowerment speaker. I've mentored, counseled, coached so many people over the years. Um, I've helped people become published authors. I've written two books. I've been on Netflix. I was on a radio show for a year. Uh, and I'm not saying this to impress you in any way, but only to impress upon you that God got a plan for your life and that your life really does matter and that there's more inside of you than you've been led to believe, led to believe. I just sat here and told you a man took a computer science manual while he was in the prison, learned how to code a computer. Now, a lot of black people, that's the stuff I'm coming for, the mindset where well, black people don't do that. These are the type of things that we'll discuss in Plan Maturity, and you can expect to hear in Plan Maturity. Black people don't do that. Why don't they? Who, you know, who, who says that? You know, and the more we stay with those mindsets, those are the type of things that'll keep us down economically, socially, mentally. And these are the type of things that I want to dismantle, bringing a message of maturity to millennials and their minors. All right. So. I did all those things. Uh, my personal transformation story, even though I came up in the church, uh, to me, I really didn't see God for, for what he is and who he is. Uh, so it was easy for me to, to do everything that I did. But as I began to grow in my faith and really build a relationship with God, uh, Yah, the God of the Bible. And no, this isn't an overly religious show, but I must be who I am and give honor to my higher power, which is the purpose uh, who who gave me my life's purpose. And I've seen a move in my life so much and so many other people's lives. Uh, so I must give honor to my God. And also, you know, the root and source of, of my transformation. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I was a wild boy. I really was. I, I ran with gangsters. I ran with killers. I ran with people uh, that put fear in the heart of a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? And And, and did many crazy things. But I love these people, and my, my goal still is to bring the message of maturity even to them. They, they love me. They're glad to see my transformation and my change, and, and they root for me and say, bro, you keep going. You reach your pinnacle, reach that top, so you can show us how to get out of you know, some of the stuff that we're doing. So my why is big, and the reason that I'm doing this is, 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 is deep. All right. So enough about me. I'm using this platform to bring a message of maturity to millennials and their minors. Why I keep saying that? Because I want to drive it home. Because our goal is to create the perfect citizen. So let's look at what perfect is. We'll look at what citizen is. I'll talk about the millennials. And then we'll talk about uh, some of the other things that was on my mind today for this day. So if you enjoying this right now, let me get a let me get an oh yeah down in the chat. If if so far you just enjoying what you've been hearing, if you can see if you can see the vision of where this thing gonna go, let me get an oh yeah that's o h y e a h. Let me get an oh yeah down in the chat on Facebook. So perfect citizen. It's a scripture that says, "Be ye perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect." That's where we get that from. Again, it don't matter your religion. If you're in America, I'm quite certain that you can say that the Bible has been beneficial to this country. I know it's a lot of talk that people believe, you know, the white man used the Bible to subjugate blacks and all that. Excuse me. We're going to talk about those things on this show too. I understand that. I comprehend that. I get it. I dig it. It's all good. But these rich people, all the success books, all the self-help books, all that type of stuff, it got its roots in the Bible. As a man think of, written by James Allen, Earl Nightingale talk about that. I believe Napoleon Hill. I think Napoleon Hill might have been dead. But I believe Earl Nightingale talk about it. Uh, Bob Proctor, one of the great minds. Some people may call him New Age teacher. You know, whatever. Uh, I really enjoy the teachers of Bob Proctor. He always refers to James Allen as a man think of. That scripture right there, straight out the Bible. So I look at the credence uh, that the Bible has given this world, the wisdom that the Bible has given this world. Scientific discoveries, the Bible been talked about, science has proved them over and over and over again. Uh, I believe Oprah says she reads Proverbs and many other millionaires and billionaire 
uh, read Proverbs, The Richest Man in Babylon uh, by George Classen or Classen. I, I don't really re recall how to say his name. You know, look at Solomon. I mean, the Bible has, has a lot of stuff to offer this world, I believe. So I got that scripture out of there. Be ye perfect as your father in heaven is also perfect. So that was the scripture that came to mind for me. And when I looked up perfect, it's the word teleos in the Greek, uh, T-E-L-E, I think it's Hebrew, I apologize. T-E-L-E-I-O-S, T-E-L-E-I-O-S. And it means complete. It means complete. Our goal is to create the perfect or complete citizen. Uh, dealing with labor, growth, mental and moral character. Check that out. Growth and labor, mental and moral character. Our goal is to create the perfect citizen, complete growth and mental and moral character. Why? Come on, black people. Come on, other people. We can see how dark this world is getting. And I love my people. I'm going to talk about my book, Overstanding. Also, Overstanding, a comprehensive look at gangster rap, its subgenres, and their effects on our generation. The young people is going mad out here. You know what I'm saying? We need to become perfect, complete, and mental and moral character, mature. That was my original definition of jump. I knew from the jump through some of my past studies that perfect means mature. Being perfect is I am perfect. It's time for us to grow up. I was listening to a guy just recently. I forgot his name. He was like really one of them black power speakers. And he said that blacks have such childlike minds. I said, oh, my God. Now, of course, it's not everybody because many of our people have have become very mature individuals, very mature individuals. And many black people are doing a lot to change the culture and things of that nature. But it takes an army to continue to move forward in changing uh, the psyche, the mindset, the ethos of the culture. The word citizen means legally recognized subject or national. Legally recognized subject or national, NATO. Now, that's a whole nother subject. I don't know if I really want to get into that too much today um, about what was written in the Constitution and, and blacks being less than human. But I believe it's important and we will talk about those things. And one thing I want to say, this 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 show is not about creating a racial divide in any way, shape, form or fashion. I love everybody as in the human race. I love the human race. I love us all. However, God made me black. God made me a black young man in Richmond, Virginia, the former capital of the Confederacy. We just took down the Robert Lee Lee statue. There were slaves literally sold a few miles from where I'm sitting right there on downtown Richmond. Slaves literally were sold in the heart of my city, downtown. So it's not by happenstance that this took place. And it is important. We can't continue to not look at that big elephant sitting in the middle of the room, but expect our children and those coming up in the other generations to do better. You can't get rid of history <laughs> only to say, hey, let's do something different. That's, that's madness. You understand what I'm saying? Those that don't know their history are bound to repeat it. Those that don't know their history are bound to repeat it. I hope y'all getting value out of this show. I'm so excited about where this is going. Come again. Cool. So that's what the perfect citizen is. Who are the millennials? I know we get a whole lot of flack about who the millennials are. Come on, man. Don't do us like that. I ain't going to lie. I love being a millennial. You know what I'm saying? I personally think we are the dopest generation. You know what I'm saying? We, we, I, I guess everybody said that, but like real talk though. You know what I'm saying? My grandma, God bless her. Uh, I don't want to say which one, but one of my grandmas is up there in age. She's very seasoned. Bless y'all. But she still moving around well. Uh, she she touching 90, you know what I'm saying? 
she touching 90. So she's seen so many generations. And I love talking to her to gain the wisdom and the insight from times of old. Like, wow, I couldn't imagine going to the store or, or, or going to get some water. And that don't say colors only, like uh, whites only. I'd be like, what? You know what I'm saying? But that was the time that she lived in, you know, having to sit on the back of the bus. Like this stuff is mind blowing. You know what I'm saying? And it's like it's always that unspoken thing. That's why I believe it's important. Watch this for mature people to discuss these things so we can move past it. You know what I'm saying? Racism and 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 all of that foolishness. You know what I'm saying? It's a poison. It's a virus in society. You know what I'm saying? We all need each other. We've all been a blessing to each other and we all need each other. All right. So who are the millennials? Let's go, millennials. Stand up. We also known as Generation Y. Generation Y uh, was born between 1980 or 1981 to 1995, 1996. So shout out to the 81 folk about to uh, hit that big 4-0, depending on when that year is. They're hitting the big 40. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, all the way up to 96. So if you were born in 1996, you'd be 25 years old. I'm an 80s baby. Stand up. 1985. You know what I'm saying? It was a beautiful time. So who are the millennials? We are the largest generation yet. Let's go. Let's go. 80 million of us in the U.S. I'm not sure when, when, uh, what is the exact. Oh, this was December of 2018. So this is already three years old. But anyway, who are the millennials? Born between 1980 and 1996, uh, over 80 million of us. We are the most ethnic, ethnically and racially diverse. Now, this is the beauty what these youngins don't get. We grew up alongside technology. Shout out the AOL gang. You know what I'm saying? Shout out the dial up. Do, 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 do. Well, you could not sneak and get on the internet and look at stuff you ain't had no business looking at. <laughs> I remember them times, man. You was trying to get on something. You know you ain't got no business. It's 11, 30, 12 o'clock. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Making all that noise. You try to put the... Who who know about taking the shirt to try to put the, <laughs> put the shirt on the back of the modem so that don't be quiet, man? That's right. We ain't had no videos all on our phone, man. You got computers on your phone. If you looking at stuff, you got the pictures. You got... Oh man, the joint all grainy. Oh man, that was that was back in the day. You know what I'm saying? We grew up alongside technology. I'm talking about Talk Boys. Uh, that was from the Home Alone. I'm talking about uh, uh, Game Boys. Ooh, I'm talking about Walkman. What's up? Shout out to Walkman. I'm talking about Pagers. When you had the Pagers, when you had the Beepers, man, page me, man. You know what I'm saying? What's up with the Disc Man? These cheering on nothing about no Disc Man. When we finally put the disc man in there, I mean, you put the CD in there and you got the disc man and you just like, oh, snap. Man, these were great times, man. Nintendo, very first Nintendo. When the game messed up, you got to take it out. What's up, millennial gang? You got to blow that joke. Put it in. It don't work. You got to blow it again. Tap that joke. Blow in the machine. Slide it in there, boop, and that don't work. Let's go. Let's go. These were the times, man. These were the times. All the dope. Yeah, what's up, fam? You already know what time it is. All the uh the dope hairstyles, man. I ain't really getting all the hairstyles. The door knocking earrings, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my girls with the finger wave, rocking the finger wave. One of my favorite was the French. What that joint was the French roll. Oh man, like you know, I already know what time it is, man. That's right. We dominate social networks. It's it's and we were confident. We got high expectations. We achievement oriented. What's up, millennial game? Ocean waves. <laughs> yeah, man. Like all that. Like I love being a millennial, and I believe that we have and are continuing to change the world. I believe that we have and we are continuing to change the world. Um. There was a scripture in the Bible when you had Moses and the children of Israel, then you had Joshua and Caleb. And no disrespect to anybody older than us, but I believe we the Joshua and Caleb. The um 
excuse me, the millennials, the Joshua's and the Caleb's, they went to see the promised land. I believe that's who we are. And our children underneath them, that's why I'm bringing this message of maturity to millennials and their minors in the effort to create the perfect citizen. So one of my goals, one of my, my one of my uh one of my concepts I like to call is the conscious interrupt. It's based off Newton's law. And that's the object in motion stays in motion to an object of equal or greater mass comes against it. And I believe that a mind or a life, a mind in motion stays in motion into an idea of equal or greater impact <laughs> comes against it. All right. I know I had a conscious interrupt that woke me up when all I was thinking about was girls and the clubs and drugs and guns and 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 just foolishness. You know what I'm saying? Getting high, making money and wilding out. That was what my mind was consumed with for many years, many, many years. You know what I'm saying? Till I had a conscious interrupt. The first one was God. Boom. Oh, my God. This really is real. This ain't the church stuff. This really is real. After that, it was purpose. It was like, oh. Now, I can't lie. So, you know, I always knew deep in my heart that I would be something great. And I truly believe everybody, I don't care if you're from the most gutter hood near you to the to the wealthiest suburb. I believe that, you know, whoever you are, that you are called one, that you are chosen one and deep in your heart that you really know that you're going to be something great one day. I really believe that. You know what I'm saying? Because whoever God called you to be, you are that person no matter what your circumstances are. You know what I'm saying? You are that person. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to E.T., the hip hop preacher. Born, mama was 17, born, uh, you know, didn't know his father till he was 30, lived in abandoned biz, uh, buildings, ate out of trash cans, all that, top motivational speaker in the world. You know what I'm saying? Top motivational speaker in the world. So you are who you are. Now God will send people across your path to activate certain things and give you that conscious interrupt he had to have a conscious interrupt. You know what I'm saying? But let's go to Master P. Make him say, oh, nah, 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 nah. Shout out to Aiden, baby. Aiden gang. You know what I'm saying? That was our time. Master P, No Limit Soldier. Master P, Calio Projects, Third World, New Orleans. I heard him speak in person. He was like, I always knew I was going to do something big. I always knew. I was going to be something great. People walk around like, bro, what did you talk about? We in the Jets. We ain't going nowhere. He was like, I ain't in the project. This was, this came out P mouth personally. I, he actually, I saw him say this, not on TV. I went to see him in New York in person. He actually told this story personally. So I know this is no cap. This ain't no Twitter. Bro said this, John. He was like, they were like, man, we in the Jets, man. We in the Calio. He was like, I ain't in no project. Right now I'm in Beverly Hills. In his mind, he was in Beverly Hills. P had a vision. It's a scripture that says, without a vision, the people perish. What's your vision for your family? What's your vision for your life? I thank God for my dad and my mom, my grandma, everybody that did whatever they did to get me wherever I got or wherever I'm at. But I'm here to break cycles, man. I'm here to break cycles. What's happening? Go ahead and put, if you know in your heart, real talk. If you know in your heart, real talk. That you are the chain breaker. I'm about to start preaching. I'm trying not to preach on this joke. You know what I'm saying? But I'm getting so excited. If you know in your heart that you are the chain breaker, the cycle breaker for your family, put breaking chains in the chat, man. Put breaking chains in the chat. You don't got to put the G on it. You can even put the apostrophe on that joke, man. B-R-E-A-K-I-N apostrophe chains. We breaking chains, man. I know I'm here to break the chains of poverty, the chains of divorce, the chains of addiction, the chains of, 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 oh man, all that, man, children out of wedlock. I'm about to destroy all that in my generation. That's right. Put breaking chains in the chat, man, if you believe that you the called one, you the chosen one, you gonna write that book, you gonna make that album, you're going to start that business. You're going to create that out. We so much more than basketball players, man. We so much more than football players, man. We so much more than rappers, man. Real talk. We are beautiful people. I just told you a dude in prison helped his daughter create an out. 
What's happening? A, a woman just created a book to teach children credit. Shout out to Kevin on Instagram. Call me 100K. Brother got the game on stocks and trading and brought almost $10 million up. $10 million. Shout out to David Shane, Sleep is for Sucker, Social Proof Podcast. Black people is running up the bag. It's our opportunity, man. It's our time right here. The show coming to an end. We almost at the end, man, for this one. I hope you find the value here. Like, comment, and share, man. I'm so excited. I am turned up because I really feel in my heart, just like Amazon, man. Amazon started in a garage, and now it's a global titan. Let me bring y'all into my world now. I wrote the book, Overstanding, a comprehensive look at gangster rap, its subgenres, and their effects on our generation. Why? Because I ran the streets. I've been in crack houses. I've seen fiends smoking crack and, 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 and all other type of madness. I've seen the worst of my people. And I've seen the best of my people. And we don't have to be that. We don't have to stay that. My wife always told me, shout out, baby, if you're watching. Love you, girl. She said, baby, you can't say everybody. And I was like, no, why? But I'm going to save who I can. I'm going to save who I can. All I got to get is one. And then all I get is one. And that one going to get more. Paul that wrote the Bible, uh, the third part of the Bible. I mean, the New Testament, most of that, he was one person. So imagine what you could do with one person. Martin Luther King, he was one person. What's up? E.T., one person. Your life matters, man. Every single person matters, man. Every child matters. Every teen matters. Every adult matters. We all matter. Walk in love and learn how to forgive and watch how your life change. Watch how the world change. But let me bring you to my vision. We got four minutes, man. We got four minutes. It's a it's a 40 minute show, baby. We got four minutes. Y'all like that M Cup too. Shout out to M Cup. What's, let's go. I got chain breaking. I appreciate you. I see y'all down there. I see y'all down there. I appreciate that. <clears throat> show some love. All right. I see playing maturity as a personal and community development firm. What you can expect from this show, we will be discussing trauma. We will be discussing the reality of trauma and mental health, PTSD. Because I want to hit all parts of the person, spirit, soul, body. Again, here, even though I'm a, I'm a person of faith, I'm a man of God, I identify with Christ. I didn't come to overly make this a religious show. But I am who I am. I'm called to be who I'm called to be. So you're going to get this guy. You're going to get this y'all. You know what I'm saying? Straight like that. But I'm not going to, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's just not what I'm here to do here. But you tell me, Google me. I got some messages. You want to hear some preaching, some teaching. We do that. Oh, best believe we do that, baby. So. I lost my train of thought. But. Okay, we're going to be talking about trauma. We're going to be talking about uh, mental health. We're going to be talking about um, trauma, mental health. That's the uh, mind, spirit, soul, body. We're going to be talking about faith in general, utilizing your faith to get where you're going. We're going to be talking about vision. We're going to be talking about entrepreneurship. We're going to be having experts on here. I'm going to have people to come and talk about credit and finance. I'm going to have people to come on here that talk about business who've grown their business to six and seven figures. We will have all type of people come on here to give their insights, tell their stories, how they overcame hardships, their backgrounds, what they've overcome. We we can run it up, man. This is a real show, just so y'all know. So I can have up to three or four guests at a time. So we go. This is a real show, man. And I'm excited about what we're about to do here. We're going to be here live every second and fourth Tuesday. Every second and fourth Tuesday of the month, y'all can please go check out the Plan Maturity Facebook page. Please go and check out the Plan Maturity Facebook page. Go ahead and like it. Uh, all the updates on the page, updates on the show will be on there. Uh, the products, the Become T-shirt will be uploaded on there this week. 
the plan maturity Facebook page that is. The overstanding book will be uploaded on there this week. And for those that haven't seen it, it's just their first time. Beautiful shirt, one of my faves. Think different, live different. Think different, live different shirt. It's a little glossy. I mean, a little shiny, that light hitting that jump. It's a young black uh, prince with the crown on that says, think different. Any questions at the bottom, think different, live different. That is available. And those are available on my website. I got one minute. My t The T-shirt and the book is on MarquiseTrent.com, M-A-R-Q-U-I-S-E-T-R-E-N-T.com. The plan maturity page will be up. The plan maturity page will be up. The actual website, planmaturity.com, will be up by the end of the month. And I will see y'all on the 26th. My sister down in Texas, Dr. Tawana Worlds, will be on here live. That's right. Dr. Tawana World is going to be live in person-ish. Come again. Cool, cool. Dr. Tawana World will be on here October 26th. Shout out, sis. She is from Cali. Uh, what is it, Cali? She from, she, she, she representing Texas by way of Cali. I don't know what she represents. She'll tell you, but she's like, bro, I'm kingdom, bro. I'm kingdom. But yeah, sis go hard. Sis all the change. Sis from the streets, but she is a certified doctor, PhD status. She is an author, published author. She is a coach. Sis be running up the bag. She is into real estate. She is connect. I don't want to give, I don't want to give y'all too much. I don't want to give y'all too much. I'm going to say that for, uh, just go like the page. You got to go get the page. Go like the page. But again, I appreciate y'all, man. This is the Plan Maturity Show. I am your host, Marquise Trent, live in Richmond, Virginia. We're going to run it up. Again, if you're on the podcast, I, I appreciate it. Go ahead and share that. If you're listening on the podcast, the actual audio, uh, go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. We will be on YouTube soon. We will be on my Instagram page, growing that up. And um, go ahead and tell a friend, man. October 26th, put it in your phone, y'all. We're going to run it all the way up to the tip of the top. That's a little tune I've been singing in my head recently. But I appreciate y'all, man. You know what time it is. The Become shirts are going to be available also. This is uh, Become Wiser, Stronger, Wealthier, Healthier, and Better. That's what it says with the words. So I'm going to be putting those up, too. Oh, man, I got a lot of love going on here. I appreciate y'all. Y'all know what time it is, Richmond. I love y'all. 804 Stand Up. We out here. Uh, shout out Plan Maturity Family. I'm going to come up with a cool name, PM Gang, PM Millionaires. I don't know, but we're going to do it, man. We are creating. Oh, let me rewind it. Thank y'all for tuning in. It's your host, Marquise Trent. We are Plan Maturity, and we are creating the perfect citizen. God bless. Thanks.